are marauders still the best use of your ap in rise of kingdoms or should you be focusing mainly on kvk barbarians today we're going to answer that question and open over 780 kingdom supply chests here in this video and share with you exactly what you get what's going on guys cheers right now my kingdom is currently in pre kvk and the other day we had marauders and i have to give a huge shout out to my good friend rk for grinding 700 kingdom supply chests over those two days i think he said he grinded for the first 24 hours straight and then was kind of chilling on the second day but regardless we're going to share with you everything that he got from opening 700 kingdom supply chests as well as the 88 that i have here on my own account and then we're going to be going over the pros and cons of doing marauders versus doing kvk barbarians because that's a question that i get a ton are marauders still worth it after the rewards were sort of retweaked and sort of nerfed a few months ago now just as a quick spoiler for many of you marauders are still going to be the best use of your ap but for some of you it may actually be way better for you to focus on kvk barbarians so make sure you stay tuned for that answer and if you enjoy rise of kingdoms content consider liking the video and subscribing because we are so close to 40 000. so take one second to click those buttons and help me beat the youtube algorithm okay without further ado let's open up my 88 kingdom supply chest because i want to see what i get and if i get lucky three two one and boom we have okay we have three green iron ore three of the 600k gold 25 of the half a million wood we have 5,000 individual credits the blueprints here don't really matter to me we got five of the one and a half million food pretty nice stuff there we got 15 of the 375,000 stone 18 of the 200,000 gold we got 200 gems two green bones three crystal keys that's a little bit low although I guess they're not great regardless uh we don't care about this stuff here we have four of the 1.5 million wood 12 of the half a million food we got a thousand gems here and 150 gems here we got three of the blue iron ore we got nine days of speed ups which I think is pretty good five gold keys eight of the green ebony 14 of the experience tombs don't care about that 1500 gems we got six of the blue leather 26 of the three hour speed ups uh purple stars or one day speed ups which very good stuff there 11 of the 50,000 experience uh five blue ebony six of the 1.125 million stone 81 of the 5,000 individual credits very good stuff there you can use this for speed ups you can use this for passport pages you can use this for civilization changes very universal good currency here we have three of the green leather one blue bone and nine of the eight hour speed ups so I don't know if this is average or not but one of the things you have to keep in mind with marauders is that you're opening chests here and these chests are random so your results may vary but the more chests that you get the more close to the average you're going to obtain now with that being said let's take a look at what RK got when he opened 700 of this exact same chest just a couple of days ago okay so he got 37 of the 1 million stone items 24 of the blue bones 54 green leather 47 of the green iron one purple animal bone 36 of the 500 gem items 19 infantry blueprints 21 green bones 33 of the 1.5 million wood 38 of the blue iron 124 of the 200k gold 132 of the half a million wood 28 one day speed ups 75 eight hour speed ups 19 1k individual credits 15 archer blueprints 23 of the 200 gem items 67 purple stars no one cares about that that's basically just more individual credits you know honestly if you're a late game 104 10k experience tombs 48 of the blue ebony 35 of the 1.5 million food 25 crystal keys 36 of the blue leather 21 golden keys 27 gold stars four of the purple leather 16 cavalry blueprints 624 of the 5k individual credits absolutely insane we got 32 of the 50 gem items 20 of the 100 gems one purple iron ore 142 of the 300k stone 47 of the green ebony 16 three day speed ups that's absolutely insane here 22 of the epic commander sculptures three of the purple ebony 120 of the half a million food 65 of the level seven tombs of knowledge 
32 of the 600k gold and 155 of the three hour speed ups okay so i took all of that information and organized it into a spreadsheet this took me a while so please like the video oh my god my upstairs neighbor just decided to start vacuuming what a piece of shit okay so in total rk got 112 million food 115 million wood almost 95 million stone and 44 million gold this is extremely important if you are low on resources going into KVK. Is this going to carry you through a significant amount of KVK? Not really, but you also have to consider that you're going to be getting a lot of resources from actually killing the Marauders as well as all the resources you get here. This is a nice little chunk. As far as gems go, he got 26,200 gems from this kingdom supply chest themselves. And he also told me he got 15,000 gems from just the Marauder tokens that they drop when you defeat them in the open field. So in total, he got 41,200 gems, which is absolutely incredible, especially if if you're a free to play player so if you can grind these marauders like crazy this is absolutely huge next i did the math here he got over 3 million individual credits total speed up hours was 2889 which is equivalent to 120 days of speed ups on top of the fact that when you defeat the marauders you also gain speed ups from them usually in the form of like one minute tokens he got about 40 days worth of these tokens that's absolutely insane 160 days of speed ups for about a day and a half's worth of grinding it's very gruesome grinding but if you can do it oh my god is that a lot of hours now keep in mind I do think he got a little bit lucky with the three day speed ups here he got 16 of them which is I mean that's a lot so maybe this is slightly higher than average or maybe it is average I don't really know but regardless uh that's that's still a lot total experience four million two hundred thousand who cares about that uh total purple leather he got about 16.38 and again that's these come in different uh colors green blue and purple so I basically did the math here so he got a little over 16 purple leather uh, about 13 and a half purple iron and almost 18 purple ebony bone about 8.3 who cares about the purple bone honestly total purple mats without the bone because that doesn't really matter is almost 48 which is about 12 gold materials that's insane on top of the fact that he also got some crystal keys from this remember and from there you do have the uh, possibility of getting legendary materials it's unlikely you'll probably just get a couple of things here and there but it's still worth noting that he got 25 crystal keys so uh, realistically you could say he got about 12 or more golden materials that is absolutely incredible you could see the rest of the stuff here i think most people don't uh, don't really care about that stuff but all i can say is 41,000 gems, 160 days of speed ups, and 12 legendary materials. That is insane. Plus the gold and crystal keys. I think that's really good on top of all the resources that he got for KVK. Okay, so now you might be thinking, well, obviously, Marauders are a no brainer. That's an insane amount of rewards. And if you can grind Marauders for those days, it's clearly the best use of AP. But I will encourage you to remember that KVK barbarians have really good rewards as well. And some other advantages that Marauders don't have. So let's go over the pros and cons of KVK barbarians. Okay. The number one pro for KVK barbarians is that they drop crystals. So if you're a free to play player, those crystals may make or break a lot of your open field fighting and realistically free to play players need as many crystals as they can get. So that is worth keeping in mind. It's also worth remembering that chaining barbarians in kvk especially in king's land gives you a ton of value whereas for marauders it's really hard to chain marauders they're typically pretty spread out sometimes you can get lucky with them being grouped up but most of the time it's going to be really difficult to chain and kite the marauders also kvk barbarians give you honor points so if you plan on grinding the honor rankings or if your kingdom is trying to be the top honor then as a team player it's going to be more beneficial for the team for the kingdom 
for you to grind the kvk barbarians compared to the marauders and finally you have to remember that kvk barbarians have no time limit whereas marauders they're around for 48 hours and that is it and so if you're busy during those 48 hours then that kind of sucks so for kvk barbarians you could just do them whenever you want during kvk as long as there's not like fighting going on and you will get a lot of value no matter what time it is but there are some cons to kvk barbarians as well the first being that for your account and its progress you will be getting generally fewer rewards and the kvk barbarians cost more ap to attack than the marauders so you really have to be good at chaining those barbarians in order to maximize the value for your ap points now when it comes to marauders the pros are that just in general you're going to get more rewards in the form of speed ups gems materials etc and the ap cost per marauder is cheaper so if you want to use multiple marches or if you're not really good at chaining uh barbarians then you don't have to really worry about that for marauders in order to at least maximize the ap value and doing the marauders will help your kingdom win the pre kvk spots and honestly this isn't that important but realistically if you take a look at the rankings there are some good rewards here so if you want to solidify a particular kingdom rank then participating in pre kvk is important and you know doing marauders is a great way to both help the kingdom here and also maximize your value for your account the cons of marauders are that it's only two days long so if you miss it you miss out on that value it's also very hard to chain those marauders like we talked about before and they do have fewer rewards than when they first came out in the form of gems and speed ups now they did add materials which is good but i think in general everyone sort of agrees that the rewards are a little bit lower than they used to be but as you saw here they're still insane so now you might be wondering okay marauders have good value but you miss out on honor and crystals which one should you be focusing all of your ap on and it depends on your account specifically so you should focus all of your ap on marauders if you need more progress for your account than you do for kvk specifically so this means if you don't have city hall 25 yet focus all of your ap on marauders if you don't have tier 5 units yet you should focus all of your ap on marauders and if you're going into a kvk that does not have crystal technology so for kvk one two and three you should focus all of your ap on marauders the other group of people that should focus on marauders are those that want to make sure the pre kvk kingdom rank is as high as it can be and again that's not that important but for some of you it might be and finally you should focus all of your ap on marauders if you are available for those two days if you're not then you just you just don't have a choice now for some of you you should focus all of your ap on barbarians in kvk and that is if you need more progress during kvk Hey, than you do for your account so this is for people who want to grind honor and be as high in the individual honor rankings as they possibly can be I'm talking about top 20 top 10 top 5 honor that is who should be grinding for kvk barbarians if you think you can do it then go ahead and do it also if crystals are what are preventing you from fighting effectively in kvk you want to focus all of your AP on kvk barbarians so for marauders it's players again that haven't he reached city hall 25 they haven't reached t5 units they need the gems and speed ups to get their account to a fighting level if you already have your equipment in a good place you have good commanders you have city hall 25 and tier 5 units and you're ready to fight then crystals are going to be what you need to fight in kvk and you should focus more on your kvk barbarians you also should focus more of your ap on kvk barbarians if you're very good at chaining barbarians and you don't mind doing it for long periods of time throughout the kvk this is going to get you the most value out of the high ap cost of those kvk barbarians and again you, you're going to need decent tech in order to do that and decent commanders in order to do that because if you're just going to be chaining with epic commanders i'm sorry to say that the kvk barbarians for free to play players are going to be harder than you think and that's pretty much it i would say for a majority of players you probably want to focus most of your ap on marauders but 
if you are late game and really need the crystals or you want to push for honor then save that ap and focus it all on kvk barbarians and also it's worth noting that you don't have to go all in on one or the other you could use maybe 70 percent of your ap on marauders and save the rest of it for doing kvk barbs so you can get that honor or if you need a ton of crystals you could use like 25 percent of your ap on marauders and just grind the rest of the kvk doing barbs it's really up to you and what your account needs but for most of you i would say marauders are probably still the way to go with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video or if you learned something drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the video in the YouTube algorithm comment down below what you think about Marauder rewards versus KVK rewards and again thank you to RK for sharing with me the information from all of those chests he opened which is absolutely insane subscribe to the channel if you're new here like I said we're so close to 40,000 and if you made it all the way to the end of the video it's worth just click it just click the button real quick if you want if not that's fine I totally get it thank you guys so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace